Hi everyone, Unboxingalism here and welcome back to my channel. In this short video, I will show you how to use the control center and I also share with you many hidden tips and tricks. Let's start it. If you need the control center, just swipe up from the bottom. I think you see a different layout on your watch. I have already customized the layout of my watch. Swipe down to the edit button, tap on it and as you can see the app started shaking. There is a minus or a plus on the icons. You can add or remove apps in the control center list. If you want to rearrange them, just move the icon to its new position. The first icon is the Wi-Fi. You can switch it on or off. If you long press the Wi-Fi button, it shows the different Wi-Fi networks and you can switch between them. The next button can ping your iPhone. With this little phone button, the watch sends a pink signal to the iPhone, which in turn provides sound feedback. When I long press the button, it turns on the flashlight as well, which is really useful in the dark. This shows your battery's percentage. If you press this button, you can check the battery. And if your watch is connected to an AirPods, you can check its battery percentage as well. You can put your watch into power reserve mode. Many activities can drain the battery fast, so there could be cases when your Apple watch can't be used for the rest of the day. In this case, the power reserve mode can help, because it will switch off every feature, except the time. To leave the power reserve mode, you need to restart your watch. This little bell can turn the silent mode on and off. There could be situation where the notification sound could be distracting. If you activate it, you will get haptic feedback only. To be honest, I always use my watch in silent mode. You can put your Apple Watch and your iPhone into Do Not Disturb mode, Work or Sleep mode here. If you are enjoying the video so far, just take a second and click on the subscribe button, it does really help growing my channel. Thank you. Your Apple Watch can function as a torch and there are different types. The first one is the white. The second one is the blinking white. When I tap on any flashlight type, it increases the brightness. And the last one is the red. To switch it off, just easily swipe down or press the digital crown or the side button. The next is the airplane mode. If you tap on it, your watch and your phone will be put into airplane mode. You can activate the water lock with this icon. It locks your screen, so you can select anything. If you go swimming, this feature will lock the screen to prevent the water from getting inside your watch. To deactivate it, just turn the digital crown in either way quickly. This one is the theater mode. If you are in a theater or in a cinema, the brightness of your watch can be distracting in the dark. With the digital crown, you can gently increase its brightness. It is important to mention that this mode will put your phone into silent mode. This one is the walkie-talkie. If you turn it on, it means you can walkie-talkie with someone else, who enabled the walkie-talkie mode as well. Unfortunately, I have only one Apple Watch, so I can show this feature, but if you have a friend who has one as well, you can try this feature out. You can put your watch into school time mode. Basically, it is an alternative do not disturb mode, but in this case, you can see an analog clock only, you won't receive notifications, you can't use apps, and so on. You can disable it with the digital crown. Next is the AirPlay button. With the AirPlay button, you can connect to an AirPods and use it as a headphone. If your AirPods support it, you can set the noise control mode as well. When you are connected to an AirPods, this icon is blue. 
The next is to check the headphone decibel level. When you listen to music, you can check the headphone decibel level. Now increase the volume. Above 80 decibels, it is yellow, which warns you that the volume is too high. Unfortunately, I can show it, but Siri can read notification out when you are using AirPods. That's all I wanted to say about the control center. Of course, if you have one of the previous generation Apple watches, you can use these tips on it as well. I have made many tips and tricks videos on the brand new Apple Watch Series 7. If you would like to get the maximum out of your watch, check the links in the description below. I hope this short video helped you out and you learned something useful. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. That would be really appreciated and would help my channel grow. Thank you and see you in the next one.